Your way stocks comes to sharesies. Kia ora whanau, my name is Edia, welcome to the channel. Flick the kettle on, put your feet up, settle in as we explore the recent updates on sharesies. Sharesies launched way back in 2017 and in a short space of time have over 166,000 users with 75,000 new investors this year alone. Quick overview, Sharesies is an app to provide investors of all ages access to the New Zealand Stock Exchange at a small fee. The platform allows you to buy and sell shares on the NZX and build your own personalised investment portfolio. With their new update, Sharesies has opened the market to the American Stock Exchange, allowing the NASDAQ, NYSE and CBOE. Let's take a look at them now. New York Stock Exchange, a total market cap of 23 trillion, approximately 2,400 listings, including Dow Jones, S&P 500, or Standard & Poor's 500, I had to Google that myself, Berkshire Hathaway, Spotify, you name it. Then we look at the NASDAQ, the National Association of Security Dealers Automated Quotations. Again, I had to Google that. I only knew NASDAQ as NASDAQ. With a total $10 trillion market cap value, approximately 3,500 listings, including some of the favorites, Tesla, Zoom, and Apple. And finally, the ugly cousin, Chicago Board Options Exchange. Personally, I've actually never heard of or even considered investing in the CBOE, and it is interesting that Sharesies included this with my understanding, possibly the fact that they have a large amount of ETFs, so more low-risk options. So if you're like me, you would have registered for early access to US shares that were going to be released to Sharesies. I received this a few days ago, providing an outline of the new release. Important to understand what you do need to know is that you will have two wallets. You'll have a New Zealand dollar value wallet and a United States dollar value wallet. So to trade on the NZX, you will use the New Zealand currency and to trade on one of the new American markets, you'll trade in US currency. With an example of what it may look like here. For those that are already trading on the US stock exchange, you will be well aware of the exchange fees because that's where the brokerage will make their money. Here's an example of how they calculate their costs, but let's look at this example ourselves. Starting with $100 New Zealand, minus the 0.4% exchange fee, that leaves us with $99.60. Multiply by the wholesale rate, so I'm using the current wholesale rate, which is currently $0.65, cents, equals $64.74 US. So 100 New Zealand would equal this amount in American dollars, which you can then use for the American Stock Exchange, which is important when you compare a smaller deposit compared to larger ones. Now let's jump into that fancy new app. So this is a recording of when I first logged in. You can see here now it says invest in US shares. We click on that which will then provide you another guide on the new US shares that have come to market. Important information which I do encourage you to read. We then need to complete the US tax form which is the IRD equivalent here in New Zealand. Select the appropriate boxes. Read all the important information. Acknowledge and accept. And finally another FYI before you get started. So now when you click invest, it will now provide you with this screen. Similar to most of the other apps out there, it provides you with popular searches and the ability to filter and understand the market. So if we type in here Tesla, it will give you a brief description of the company itself, the current value of the shares, and a variety of the market variants. I personally like the added risk levels here. I'm not too sure if there were a new feature added to the new update. However, I like how it rates the risk levels from 1 to 7, so you can understand the volatility of your investment, with 1 being lower risk, 4 being medium, and 7 being higher. So an example of that, a low risk may be like an ETF, a medium risk may be like a bank, and high risk being the majority of the shares that are available on the market, both NZX and American stocks. Like the NZX, you can sort them by category, what you would like to research, and also the time frame. You have the ability to now filter from companies, ETFs, or managed funds to help narrow your search. Sadly, ARK Investment is not currently available on Sharesies, so as you can understand, they have provided a US market to the New Zealand consumers. However, all listings are not made available, which in time I'm sure we will see this change. 
Let me acknowledge those who have used my referral code. This has empowered me to continue to reach my goals as an educator. So if you are new to the platform, enjoy $5 on me as I will be sure to enjoy the $5 kickback. The referral code is also in the description below. So there you have it. On Sharesies, you now have access to US markets. And yes, there are other apps that provide the service to New Zealand consumers. However, for me, having that convenience, I think I'll start consolidating my investment portfolio right away and no longer have that fear of missing out of that ever-growing American market as well. So all in all, it just makes things so much more interesting now that we have variety. But what's the key learnings here? More exposure means more options, meaning more diverse investment portfolios. In saying that, you will now be exposed to more volatility, with the American markets going up and down, heavily influenced by the US media and other politics. It's important to understand that the American markets are heavily reliant on the fiscal policy in America, so any changes that are made may not be on the forefront of your current spectrum. Foreign exchange. There are going to be costs involved to allow you to purchase US shares, but also it is heavily reliant on the US dollar and the New Zealand dollar. So if they are not performing, then that will also dictate whether you make an American deposit or a New Zealand withdrawal. I'll leave you with this. The more you invest, the more important your investment becomes, which hopefully means more Kiwis conducting their own research and more research means that you're increasing your financial literacy, which hopefully will then empower your own relationship with money. That's all from me. Destroy that like button, subscribe for more videos, tell a friend, and maybe you can fill their cup up while I'm filling up yours. Until next time, kaki te whanau.